Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, it's gonna to be a controversial topic. You're probably gonna watch this video and be upset about something. Either because you agree with me or because you think I'm an idiot. <laughs> a lot of you guys probably already think I do. Um, but, is what it is guys. Uh, today we're gonna to talk about floaters, all right? Now I've been thinking about this for years because I've experienced it throughout my entire career and this is, I, I've just gotten too many complaints recently and we're now at that point with a downturning economy that floaters are becoming even more apparent. So let's go ahead and let's start pissing people off. So what is a floater? Floaters are people that are in positions, they're very comfortable, they know the system, they know how to game the system and they're going to do it. They're going to cherry pick their work orders. They're going to, uh, they usually work themselves into a very comfortable situation. Um, and they're, they keep saying things like I'm going to retire or whatnot. And they just never do. You know, the true irony of this is that floaters are usually older biomeds. Usually, not always, usually. And you're going to find out why I'm going to tell you. So, you know, the older generations are always making fun of the younger generations, talking about their work ethic, yada, 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 about they're lazy. And I'm not saying they're wrong and I'm not saying they're right. I've seen examples of everything in every single age group. Me, I'm a Gen Xer. I was born in early 1980. So guys, I'm, uh, I, I'm right in the middle between the baby boomers and, and the millennials and the Gen Zs and whatnot. And, you know, I'm just in for the ride, man. So I'm just telling you guys what I observe. All right. So floaters. Floaters are usually older biomeds or more experienced biomeds that are very comfortable in their situation. And they've got the gravy jobs. They uh, do work, but usually, um, not always. But that work is usually cherry picked. It's usually like the easiest work orders or the easiest, lowest stress, lowest tempo type environment and floaters are, are people like I said earlier that they say things like I'm gonna retire or next year I'm gonna retire in two years I'm retiring they do that for specific reasons one is if you say you're gonna retire it, it's a passive threat for one um, whether or not they mean it that way if, even if they say no I, I, I claim BS um, so it's a passive threat about like if you give me more work I'm gonna just retire I'm just gonna put in my paperwork which if I ever heard those words, I would be like, okay, so put in your paperwork. Because I don't know about you guys, but I always have more work. Always. It's never, do you ever have like less work tomorrow than you did today? Does that happen to any of you guys? Well, it does to floaters, all right? And the worst part is, is floaters are usually paid very well. And uh, that means because of all their years of experience, even some of them, just because they have tenure doesn't mean they should be the highest paid people in your department. Tenure should not equal pay. Experience, willingness to be educated, your uh, ability to be trainable, and your uh, flexibility as a technician, those are ways to get paid more, not for tenure, all right? Tenure, I could care less about. Um, it, Obviously, that's me speaking. I've run several biomed departments throughout my 20-year career. But guys, floaters are becoming a real issue with this downturn economy because they're, they're saying things like, I'll retire next year or whatnot. And they're not getting sent out for trainings because why would you send somebody out for training that's threatening to retire? So they know also floaters have been around the block. They understand that if they go out for training, that's going to be more work for them to do in the future. So guys, if you ever around somebody that says like, oh, I don't care, I'm just retiring two years anyway, or uh, I'm just gonna put in my packet. If you ever hear those words, just tell them, do it, put in your packet. Because they're taking one year senior level slots. And if they're not willing to commit to that level, because a senior level position means that you have some responsibility in your biomed shop as a community. You're responsible for helping to train the people that are coming after you, especially if you're retiring. Why is it that a lot of these floaters are unwilling to train people? Why is that? It's because they need the job security. And I don't even understand that because 
there's so much work out there, but they know that if they teach somebody else to do the easy jobs, then the easy jobs will get put on somebody else. And now they're going to have to be flexible and trainable and all this other stuff that all of y'all are expected to do. But it's just something that I've, it's really irritated me guys. And I, I know it seems like the video is not very linear in thought, not that many of mine are, but just be aware floaters. They're the most annoying position. I would rather give me 10 people that know nothing about biomed than, than one floater that's taken up one of my positions who's not willing to be trained, who's not willing to take on extra responsibility, who keeps threatening to retire. Those floaters, the gravy jobs, all right? The floaters are, are becoming a problem and a lot more people are sticking around in biomed even well after they should be retiring. A lot of these guys should have been retired years ago. Either because your mentality is the mentality from years ago, because you're not you're not flexible enough, willing to be trained. There's so many floaters out there that are actually bragging. How odd is that? They're bragging about how they're incompatible with computers. Guys, computers have been around for 40 some years. 40 some years. It's half a century. Computers have been in businesses and hospitals for 50 years. <sighs> So somebody that's got like 30 year tenure, he's, he doesn't want to learn computers. I, I just don't get it. They've been around. You all knew that this was going to happen. But guys, anyway, floaters, they're, they're a big concern. Not just the junior technicians who are, you know, not very trainable or they don't know merit very much coming out of school. The other concern that we have, the people that are taking roles in our, our biomed shops that just aren't living up to the opportunity are floaters. And I just want to bring that to you guys. It's so annoying, and I've, I've seen it increase lately because of a potential down economy, which is probably going to happen. Uh, they're worried that they're not going to be financially secure enough to retire. You've been a biomed for 30, 40 years. You've had the opportunity to be paid well above the national average for so many years. And in that time, you didn't learn a little bit of fiscal responsibility enough to straighten out your finances and prepare. I just don't get it, man. But anyway, that's my thoughts on it. Here's what it is. Floaters, they're a problem too, not just junior biomeds.